Good day. This is video number 10. Uh, I finally got the components for the 8 position uh, mini lid tool turret. So here, as you can see, is the mini lid tool turret. Uh, I have assembled partially uh, the front portion, the rear section. Okay, and uh, here you can see the center section is the NMVR 30, uh, 30 to 1 ratio worm gearbox. You can always go for 20 to 1 as well, but I decided to choose for 30 to 1 for a little bit more torque. I don't really need the speed. Uh, it's not really critical for this application. And then um, here is the <coughs> uh, ratchet and pawl mechanism here. Okay, as you can see, there is a pole here that is at the bottom. It has two poles, one above and one at the bottom. The idea is to provide two surface areas uh, to hold the tool post or uh, the tool holder uh, in position more rigidly. Now, in order for you to adjust the height of the cutting tool you all you have to do is to loosen these two nuts and then tighten up <clears throat> these set screws where it will rest against the rear part of the pole i uh, hear pole number one and pole number two okay and then there is a spring here this spring uh is temporary i'm just using a ball point pen spring shorten and place there just to make it work the the lower pole is not connected at the moment so it's just working on one so you can see it in operation. Let me, uh, now we are at tool position one here. I'm going to change to T, uh, tool position two. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Let me get out of this window, go to manual. Okay. So my, I'm going to MDI T zero two zero two. I'm moving from tool one to tool two. So, the default condition is tool 1. So it needs to be initialized at tool 1 first. Enter. Okay, there. We have tool number 2. So you can see here from the screen. You can see from the screen. Uh, hang on. Okay. The screen indicates tool number 2. Okay, uh, I hope it's clear enough. Okay, then let's go to T0404. It will skip to uh, ratchet tooth. One, two, read rest. Okay, so it's tool position number four. Okay, let's go to tool A T0808. Okay, then finally T zero one zero one. Now we are back to tool number one. Uh, so I okay, let's just go to tool five T zero five zero five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we are tool number five. Let's go back to tool one. T zero one zero one. Okay, we're supposed to be at tool number one. This time I have assembled the tool holder, and the tool holder is bolted to the <coughs> uh, ratchet wheel. Uh, there are a few missing parts that I have not completed yet. The back cover as well as the front cover and uh, probably a, a nylon or 3d printed cover that will go around the stepper motor and allow the wire to be routed through neatly to protect it from dirt and then um, the final portion is some fine tuning of the software and some mounting plates for me to mount the entire turret onto the late uh, cross light um, I've worked out a uh, mounting plate system that can mount directly to the 
Chinese 7 by 10, 7 by 12, and 7 by 14 mini lathe directly. Uh, and I just need to drill two holes and tap them. That's it. And uh, it should work fairly well. Okay, let's see it in operation again. So now you can see here we have tool number one is over here. The spindle position it's somewhere here. So I'll advance to tool number two T zero two zero two. Okay, enter. Okay, now we have tool number two. All of okay, we have four um, <clears throat> lathe uh, cutting tools over here, and we have uh, either boring bar, drill bit, or even uh, taps is possible uh, over here okay so now i'm at tool number two let's go to tool number three t zero three zero three tool number three and then let's go to t zero eight zero eight i'm going to tool number eight now okay right on the money and then let's reset back to tool number one zero one zero one okay so uh that's all from me now